Okay, cut the dimension that we give you on our blog post and fold it right sides together. So a quarter of an inch down and across, same on this side, leaving a little bit of an opening here for turning. And then grade your corners. Just cut out the little corners, being careful to not cut your stitches. Then turn it right side out and press it and make sure your corners are poked out like if you if you need to take a little pin and carefully pull out the corners that's what will make it look professional tuck under when you press it tuck that opening under and just take a little thread and needle go back and forth underneath so it won't show and you'll do two of these for the different sizes to stack now I've stacked my two sizes they're the same uh, end to end but the, the sides are a little bit smaller so that when it's gathered I can see that there's two bows stacked and I want three stitches they're a half inch each for this adult size so half inch each time the needle goes in and out uh, for your smaller bows you would uh, adjust that and then it's just double thread look how cool that looks because the stitches were equal you get a real tailored neat look which is what you want when you're doing men's uh, tailoring and, and such now we've taken our center wrap piece and we've folded in the outsides and then folded again and pressed it and I've zigzagged the edge and we're gonna start just on the back with one end now styles of bow ties change sometimes they're wrapped with a skinnier center wrap and much tighter sometimes they're not as pulled in as much they're a little more straight here not as gathered so they kind of change but they're easy to adjust to whatever style you would like it to go so just whip stitch that on like that then we'll wrap it around and cut a quarter of an inch longer than what you're going to need because what we're going to do to make it really neat on the back is turn it under so those raw edges are covered keep a nice little edge here and then we'll blind stitch that and a blind stitch is, is where where I came up on the fold right here and I'm going to go down just across from where I came up and into the other area the other side and then pull it so that just a tiny stitch shows so I came up there on the folded under part go down just across like that we're going to go across look how neat and professional that looks you can work with the folds looks great now with scissors just snip one layer of fabric on this underneath side about a quarter of an inch away from the center wrap then I, I like these that have the little holes for stitching that's the part that's going to go inside the tie and then when we flip it open it opens up for the collar and then it snaps shut so you're going to take part that has the little stitching holes and you can slide it and like on the side like that you can make a smaller hole and just force that in there like that to the other side that hole may need to be just a little bit bigger that. OK, 
Okay. okay then I'm going to snap it shut and put that metal thing that's underneath in between the fabrics. I can feel it and I want it centered from side to side on that bow. Then I'm going to come up with a double threaded needle and catch those little holes, those little metal holes. And that's what I like about this is that is not going to slip out. That's gonna really stabilize. So easy to make these bows. And they really do look professional if you just take your time. <clears throat> there, look how great that looks. Really fun to do. You can also use these for women's or girls' hair bows. Very fun to do.